Well, you know, again, I've, I've appreciated the way guys have been going about spring practice, and you know, today I thought it was a good finish uh, to the week. Obviously, there's there's a lot we've got to continue to work on, you, you know, and I think it doesn't matter if you know you're doing well, and you got to make sure then you're doing it consistently. And you're starting to see some guys, you know, that have that, and we got. I think there's another group that's. It's finding it now. Now can you do it consistently? And there's still more than enough stuff that needs to be cleaned up, you know, for us to go. So we just got to take advantage of the opportunities that we get, you know, because I think when you come out of spring ball, you gotta, as a player, you know, you put yourself in a position to to be in a role. Not that the roles are finalized by any means, but you put yourself in a position. You put yourself in a spot where you get more reps or, or you don't get as many reps and so we just gotta keep keep going on it and, and certainly there's things that no matter what you're doing you, you know you gotta, you gotta continue to work on it. and that's what you, you love about spring ball is that there is chances to work and, uh, so we gotta just keep maximizing it along those lines i know sheridan's looking at a bunch of guys yep. but take grass has been with that first unit all spring what have you seen from him in the off season and so far this spring that might give him a chance to have a role? Yeah, I, I think what what you said there and then how he's approached the off season and uh, you know, I think that really the work that Tate's put in to this point is kind of a great example for guys that you just keep going and so when opportunities present itself and he's been extremely consistent and. Uh, but it's not something he just turned it, in my opinion, it's not like he just turned it on at the start of spring, like, okay, I'm gonna go out now. It's, it's, it's been his approach, and I think he's obviously more than comfortable with who he is. I think he's he's trusting the work that he put in, whether it's in the weight room or the film room, and it's showing up on the field. And, you know, I think you know, one thing we've talked about a lot, you know, on the last couple of Saturdays is, you, know, you, you got to practice how to play, too, just where you can cut it loose and play. And I think Tate's doing that. You know that he's trusting his work, trusting his technique, and trusting his eyes, you know, and just going out and playing. And, and I think that would leads to he's having a really good spring. You use the word consistent. That's not a sexy word, but for a coach, really good. Okay. Yeah, right? I mean, what can you – what can you – bank on what do you know and and I think it's also something that you know that for a player that gives that puts you at ease and it, it frees you up and I think that that then allows you to build on if you truly trust yourself you're confident in yourself then you'll trust it and you'll cut it loose and then how can you keep working on that yeah I mean, you know, I think we were excited, you know, and, and to have him join us was a good thing. Um, I can't say I was really, I didn't know what to, I trusted, you know, kind of, he's here for a reason. <laughs> and he put the work in and, and, uh, and it's good. And, it, you know, you try to put him in, last couple of Saturdays, you kind of put him in the unscripted and see how guys respond and, and so that's part of it though. but you know again how do you take advantage of your opportunities and when you do get them you, you need to take advantage I think he's been doing a pretty good job with that Traylon early in spring said that one of his big goals is to become a better receiver yeah how do you see him go about that and how do you feel about him as a receiver shot in the backfield right now I, you know I think he's working at it and um, and I think as you go with him you're finding out more you know what 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 fits his wheelhouse and 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 also I think you can kind of project that to the other the other backs that aren't priced so um, he's certainly talented there you know and, and uh, I think for us to be what we want to be you know I think we've got certainly Braylon but I think we've got a few backs that can be uh, they can do a lot of what you need to do to be a good receiver. And, and so I think that's you know, something we gotta continue to just keep building on and growing. Let's look at spring ball left, because do you like what you've seen so far in terms of trying to diversify the passing game a little bit and utilize more weapons that come along the way that you hope to 
hoped it would. Yeah, I think, you know, as you go with spring, you're, you're um, a big part of it is, to me, is, you know, what are the strengths of each guy? And then you try to have enough different things so you can kind of find if something really fits them, you know, and then obviously it's got to match up with what fits, you know, kind of the whole scheme. But so I've liked kind of the, the way we're approaching it that way. And I think you see guys um, where you say, okay, that, that could be something that could kind of be sustainable. And, and then you got to then do it consistently. I think that that's one of the groups where you say, okay, there's been some good, but you got to maintain the, the consistency. Okay, we're done. Six.